solution you say the world needs. I well, know there's big problems. Are... There's real environmental problems, and I totally agree with you. And they've got all these counterfeit ones they push all day. Give me an example of some of the real environmental crises. Well, um, not just the crises, but the solutions. You know, you're not about global warming, but you're about sustainable. And I have this sustainable agenda that the world needs that everybody screaming for a solution has not allowed since 1994, including Gore. Even though, well, I mean, they have a counterfeit not. sustainability that just means give the globalists control over all the resources and restrict everyone else and then put carbon taxes on everything instead of restricting GMO, toxic waste dumping, uh, stuff like that. Instead of not producing carbon, carbon emissions, you know, because one, if you end global environmental illiteracy, 99 point everybody is environmentally illiterate. They don't even know what the environment is and they don't know how their actions affect it. I will end global environmental illiteracy. Two, our disposable society. That is the biggest abuse. That emits carbon emission. No, no, I agree that we've gotten to, we are wasteful. The, 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 the disposable society creates disposable humans, disposable animals. Uh, I, I don't like it either. But the modern movement has a lot of trappings that sound good. At the end of the day, it's meant to sell you on the larger purchase of world government. That's not me, okay? Believe me, they don't let me play their game, okay? I'm. Well, what I'm, I think you ought to do, Eileen, what I think you ought to do, Eileen, is I'm sure you've got a lot of great ideas. You should write me a letter. Do you have a website where I can find out more about your ideas? Well, my website is down right now due to another government attack, okay? My YouTube channel is gone. It just, you know, and, and I'm just by myself, and I was, I was having a good summer, and I wasn't going to deal with it, and now it's time to deal with it. But, you know, it, it's down to a, a, an attack, and, I mean, I barely have a job in Big Sky, which doesn't have to hire Americans, especially if you think that they should, then they're going to let you know you're not going to be employed. And we have four ski areas here. I'm like, hey, how about... No, we I understand. They use the chief immigrant labor to leverage everybody else out and play wars with it. I understand. Eileen, I hear you. Well, put the websites back up. Don't give up. I've had that happen to me, too. It's worthwhile info. You need to fight for it. James in Colorado, you're straight up. Then, we will talk to Timon and others and play some more of these clips. And the fourth hour, the final hour, is straight ahead. Leanne McAdoo with George Washington backing her up. He's going to be sitting in in the fourth hour, the final hour of the worldwide 2015 InfoWars war chest, Operation Moneybomb, hosted with Leanne McAdoo. I'll be riding shotgun with her for at least part of it. Anthony Gucciardi, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, they're all going to be in. We're going to get to James, Tymon, Mark, Aaron, Doug, all of you here in just a moment. But first... We are almost, if you punch up InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com, or go to InfoWars.com, we are at $681,000 raised. And I'm told they update it every 10 minutes or so with the phone calls and the internet and the, and, and the rest of it. It's already over $700,000. So I want to thank all of you that have given, all of you that have donated, all of you that have bought products, uh, that the profits of that go towards this. Uh, this will certainly really help us Keep the satellite up, have the closed captioning, get a few more reporters, camera people, video editors, have the travel fund to send reporters to key events around the country and the world, which you see us do here every day. So you are investing in eyes and ears that are having a massive effect. And one of our biggest shortcomings is talking about how successful Infowars.com, the radio show, the nightly news, all of it is. We reach billions of people worldwide with our reach every year. Just on social media, it's 1.4, 1.6. We showed those demographics from Google and Facebook yesterday. Billions of views uh, on the internet video platforms. A half million a year on YouTube alone. Terrestrially, 4 million, plus well, 3 million, listeners a day. Not, not everybody tunes in every day or even every week. Overall, about 10 million terrestrial AM and FM listeners across the country. And the list goes on and on. And those are people hearing about how deadly vaccines are, hearing about how the IRS collects money for the private fellow reserve, hearing about globalism, hearing about the new world order, hearing about Agenda 21, learning about countless issues. It's so exciting. Now, I'm going to extend the free shipping into the morning hours as part of this money bomb. 
Free shipping at InfoWarsStore.com. But ending with the 28-hour broadcast in an hour and three minutes is 15% off the incredible good halogen nascent iodine survival shield x2 30 percent off super male vitality we've never had free shipping with 30 percent off that amazing game changing key herbs 20 percent off brain force great way to try this out 20 percent off the greatest colloidal silver out there silver bullet it's already discounted 15 percent off deep cleanse 15 percent off secret 12 methylcobalamin and vitamin b12 15 percent off oxy powder and so much more and anthony gucciardi is going to come in later with some other specials that are running as well. The storable foods from my Patriot, lowest they've ever offered them. We had their CEO on last week in their six year history, lowest ever that's being offered at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling toll free 888 253 3139. But even more importantly than purchasing products or making a donation, you can also call 888 253 3139. Even more importantly than making a donation or even buying the products is spreading the word to friends and family, neighbors, folks at the grocery store, online, when you sign off on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Pinterest or whatever the case may be, that, hey, check out InfoWars.com. Check out this video feed. Check out the audio feed at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You, the people, have the power to take action and change the world, as Mahatma Gandhi talked about. We'll be back straight ahead with the final hour of the InfoWars War Thank Chest Operation Moneybomb. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Leanne McAdoo is here to co-host the final hour of InfoWars Moneybomb 2015. Leanne, I want to go to James, who's been holding for an hour. Time on. I want to go to Mark. I want to go to Doug. I want to go to Aaron and others. I will not be here the entire time, but you invited me to join you. Uh, you've been here three years. What is it like? Live and in your face all the time. And you're wearing a vintage Van Halen t-shirt. I got one of those in 1984 in Dallas, the first concert I went to. Really? Yeah, one of the first, yes. Well, apparently they're going to be in town this week, so... My dad yeah. goes, you like Van Halen? So do I. Let's go. <laughs> You're like and under Texas law, he was allowed to like give me a sip of his beer as he did at the event. <laughs> so that's a true that's, story. And that's, that's what I got a cool dad. I'll take him to Van Halen yeah. concerts. Your dad is real cool. It's good stuff. He, he actually <laughs> works here now. So <laughs> we got to get him on air. What a character. Well, my first concert, I saw the, uh, it was Lollapalooza and the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow was there. So I got to see... Uh, What's his name? Eddie Vedder. Drink, eat glass and drink bile. That's not good. We don't like that. No, he's a, um, a terrorist. That's so. not when he wants our guns, too. <laughs> hey, what do you got coming up today? And, and first off, though, we're going to go to break and then come back with calls so we don't cut you short. So be five minutes. We're going to you, James, and time on. So stay there. Appreciate you. Uh, Leanne, what do you make of the epic success? We're up to $700,000, I'm just told, plus for the money bomb. And so I guess... People like us to do this. We're going to go ahead and extend it in through tomorrow to try to get that million dollars, as we've done before, uh, that'll go into this operation, Leanne. Yeah, I'm probably going to sit back there and take some more phone calls, uh, people calling in, because it's fun. It was fun back there, and, and people are really excited about it. You know, uh, some really great specials that we have going on right now, and it was just, it's incredible to me to see that number. Every time we refresh, it just is going up, up, up. I can't wait to see how the mainstream media... <laughs> tries to spin what a success Operation Money Bomb has been. Well, yeah, more and leave. more, they still attack us all the time, but oh, it's like yeah. made up stuff. They never attack us on real stuff anymore, which shows me they know they're losing. Well, yeah, because they know it just boosts our, our audience. They they send people to us and then they, then it wakes them up and they're like, wow, <laughs> I'm switching over, which is, which is why I'm so pumped to think that we will be on television. As excited as people get about Trump because he speaks... Speaks his mind, doesn't hold back, and everything like that. Imagine. Who was that supermodel on screen? <laughs> that was Anthony Gucciardi interrupting me during. So that's, that photo's of Anthony Gucciardi. <laughs> that was me saying, Anthony, I'm <laughs> trying to make a sale. <laughs> <laughs> well, great job, Leanne. The whole crew working so hard the last few days. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I just think it's, I think it's really exciting to see. You know, I just can't imagine people flipping through the channel, and then one of us are on the screen. Oh, Dr. Group. Dr. Dr. Green Beret. <laughs> he goes, stop calling me Green Beret. <laughs> oh, so was those an Army Special Operation. <laughs> he loves it. 
No, he doesn't look like he's called Green Beret because he wasn't one. <laughs> he like, he last time I did, he goes, stop it. He, he's always real nice. But then he goes, stop it. <laughs> Anyways, you know, people don't in the Which military. It makes you want to do it more. I, I know, I know. Well, people in the military do not like being called things they're not. So right. it's, it's like a big, uh, no, but he is a great guy. He, he's such a funny guy. He's super smart. Very smart. And actually, we're going to uh, get him. We're going to get him back in. Oh, wow. Just at over 700. Yeah, they told me they broke over 700, but they hadn't updated it yet. Nice. Yeah. So tell me what's coming up, Leanne. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to do a little wrap up with the uh, the debate last night. Uh, obviously, the people are kind of surprised at, at, at what has happened. And of course, just the puppet show. People loved our commentary. <laughs> so we... <laughs> I think we're going to kind of recap the best of. I didn't even get to see Biggs last night. I passed out. So apparently it was pretty sensational. But it wasn't because there were tubs of liquor around. <laughs> no. And midgets swinging from <laughs> chandeliers or anything. All right, we'll be back Just with. Ping pong. The, the, there was some ping pong. <laughs> the one, the only. So just, no, we're not as cool as we wish we were. <laughs> Leanne McAdoo is co hosting your phone calls. Well, the Fed bluff is out. They're saying no rate rise after all. That's what Peter Schiff predicted here. And on the left-hand side of DrudgeReport.com, black middle schooler rips Obama in epic rant. That's going to be played coming up at about 40 after or so when Anthony Gucciardi is in here in studio. But let's go back up to DrudgeReport.com and that top headline there. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Fed bluff, no rate. Raise after all. Let's let's click on that red link. Yeah, it's all rigged. Well, I mean, that's what all of our smart folks have been saying. I go ahead and click on it for me. Or I guess I can do it. Just <laughs> click on it. There you go. AP. Fed leaves key interest rate untouched, citing low inflation. The big announcement just got made. Let's get that article up on Infowars.com and let's get Peter Schiff. Folks wanted to get Peter Schiff on like last week, and I said, no, let's wait till the rate announcement's made to see if he's right. Peter Schiff, we need to be calling him right now. He needs to be on for 30 minutes tomorrow. Peter Schiff has been proven right. I'm actually in communication with Peter, and he can't do the show tomorrow, unfortunately, but I'll get him as early as I can next week. Perfect, perfect. Um, didn't um, Dent also said they wouldn't raise it, right? Correct. That's the article I handed you earlier. Yeah, I, so I know you handed it to me earlier. I didn't look at it. How long ago did they make this announcement? I'm sorry, my own world today doing this money bomb coverage. <laughs> been about two hours oh my gosh well i'm usually on top of stuff next time you guys need to kick me in the butt when a big announcement gets made we don't need to tase bigs there's going to be no donation to get bigs tased uh, -huh. uh the new thing will be they're going to add <laughs> shockers to me when i don't announce big announcements yeah uh, then leanne will taser me hey you heard it 10 g's we need the big money big money no, 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 no. <laughs> Small shockers. Oh, just low tiny. energy shocking. Like, the <laughs> like kind, shock there. I will touch my tongue to a nine volt battery <laughs> for $10,000. <000. laughs> ah. So you have to come with a nine volt battery instead of feeding me grapes. I you feed like, me nine volt batteries. <laughs> that, that's actually kind of frightening as well. I actually have never been able to do that. The battery thing. That's. But I'll tase Biggs if he's willing. No, you're not tasing Biggs. <laughs> he. he he, Biggs is real. You will not taste Biggs, Joe Jennings. <laughs> it was his idea. He's uh, look, super I'm like freaking out over that headline when I went and checked Drudge. So usually I'm checking Drudge when I'm actually doing the show, kind of in that mindset. Like every five minutes, I check InfoWorlds, WorldNet Daily, CNBC, the Financial Times of London, my emails. Usually it's like every five minutes and they're checking it too. This was in here two hours ago. <laughs> Federal Reserve leaves U.S. interest rates unchanged. Breaking news, the Titanic sank today. No, no, it's not <laughs> the that The economy bad. is in crisis. Well, what matters is all of our guests said they would not raise interest rates. Right, that would... And the media said they were. The question was when. So we're proven right again. That would just be suicide. Did you see the chupacabra they found on the back of somebody's uh, back porch in Arizona? Let's scroll down. You can see it. <laughs> they finally found the chupacabra? Yep, they stuffed it, and then now they put it at the Federal Reserve. <laughs> And uh, there it is. You know, if you're a radio listener, you can see the free feeds <laughs> at infowars.com forward slash show. Well, clearly, just like Trump, you're just talking about her personality. Well, like Trump, I'm talking about, there's <laughs> a lot of, I'm not against what d deep sea fish look like. <laughs> I think it's interesting that, that we found a new deep sea fish species. <laughs> that can breathe and walk out of. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, no, Trump gets it. Everybody enjoys insulting people. <laughs> Here's the deal, though. Uh, Janet Yellen, I hate her guts, and I'm sick of her. And I'm sick of talking about